had three babies as a teenager. I've been wanting to do a Q&A for a while, so I figured I'd just jump right in. So I'm gonna go through some comments and just pick out some questions and answer them for you guys. You know what causes that, right? Yes, my last three were planned. How many different fathers are there? Seven. I'm kidding. There is two. Two different fathers. Did you get to finish school? I didn't. After I fell pregnant at 14, I dropped out of school, technically. I wanted to finish school, but when I was talking to my principal about it and my guidance officer, they laughed at me for having the idea of staying in school when I was pregnant. And me being 14, I was pretty, you know, impressionable at that age. I was like, if these people that are supposed to help me are laughing at me for having this idea, obviously it's a pretty silly idea. So I didn't continue with that idea. Were the police involved? Yes, the police were involved. They didn't really do anything. We were both underage, so it wasn't really any major crime that had been committed. They just wanted to make sure that it was consensual. A lot of people say, of course it wasn't because I was underage, but you get what I mean. They wanted to make sure that I was safe and that I wasn't being harmed by anybody a lot older than me. Pregnant at 14, can you tell me a little of your relationship with your parents? It's pretty good, honestly. I was just very, very nervous to consult with them about starting anything. I, my dad even offered me protection because he had a feeling, but I said no. I was like, I am not doing anything. It was really, really embarrassing to talk to your parents about, which I'm sure it is with any teen. Why are you proud of this? That's one I commonly get asked. I'm about as proud as any other mother. Um, am I proud of being pregnant at 14? I don't know. I, I am proud that I made it through all of the challenges that gave me. I am proud that I still gave my kids a great life, even though my child was not planned at 14 and I was so young. Um, I don't know. I, I would say I'm mixed about it. I'm not necessarily proud of being pregnant so young, but I'm proud of the accomplishments I made regardless of being pregnant so young. Did you have sex education? That's a good one. That's a good question. Sort of. I knew how babies were made, but I was a bit blasé on the fact of how quick it can happen, okay? I did fall pregnant without protection, um, but that was just because we ran out. That was like a one-time thing, maybe, maybe two times, maybe two, but I didn't realize that it would happen so quickly. I thought we'd be right for those two times. We weren't. What was your reaction when you first found out you were pregnant? I cried. I <laughs> um, made a joke about being pregnant because these got bigger. And I was honestly thinking that it was just puberty. I was like, there's no way I'm pregnant. I kind of scared myself with the jokes that I made. So I went and got a test. And I, as soon as I got the test, I went to the public toilet and I took the test. Um, I saw those two lines and I just started bawling. I was like, this is insane, this is unreal, and I don't know what I'm going to do. Which brings me to my next question, did I ever think about abortion? Which a lot of people would say that's a really rude question to ask, but it's a common thought when you're pregnant so young. And yes, I did think about abortion. That was actually my original plan was to get an abortion. So I didn't want to tell my family at all that I was pregnant. I wanted to get a secret abortion. Like I looked it all up. Apparently they were like, it was a thing that they'd, I don't know. I don't know. It was my research done as, as a teenager. So I don't know if any of it was actually legit, but yeah, that was what I was planning on doing. A secret abortion. So no one would ever know. Um, obviously that did not work out because my family did find out. Um, and my mom took me to a doctor to, to schedule an abortion. The doctor wanted a dating scan, so I had to go in for an ultrasound, which is where I saw my baby, which wasn't really a baby at that point. It was just a circle. I don't know. So seeing it forming changed something and I just couldn't go through with an abortion. Were your parents supportive of your pregnancy? Yes and no. They supported me through my decisions. They were very unhappy that I was pregnant. How did you deal with being pregnant at 14? I didn't really. I cried a lot. When do you plan to get married? And that's a really nice one. Um, 
we want to buy our first house before we get married. So we're hoping to have a deposit completely down by the end of the year. So hopefully it's not too far away. Is your newest baby from the guy you're still currently with or is he just an amazing stepdad? Um, no, he is the dad to my last two babies. So would you spread your legs again? <laughs> I'm assuming that means would I become pregnant again? And although I would love another baby, I cannot really risk that. At the moment, we have actually spoken and we're not taking any permanent measures to eliminate the possibility of another pregnancy because things may be different in the future. Maybe if my health records came back perfect, I would try another baby. The only reason why I wouldn't is because I had really bad iron levels in my last pregnancy, which caused my blood to drop a crazy amount to a fatal point, and I nearly passed during my last labor. What would you do if you got pregnant again? I <sighs> will get slammed for this, and I have been slammed for this. But if I got pregnant again and my body was not in perfect health, I would have an abortion. My kids matter more to me than the pregnancy. And they need their mother. Is the dad of the baby at 14 still in the picture? No. He left after our second baby. Well, I broke up with him. People get angry at me for saying he left. I broke up with him, but then he decided to leave the entire picture. Was it hard to raise them when you were 14? Uh, this is one that really, really angers people when I say this. I do not think being a mom at 14 was, well, 15 is when I had my baby. 15 was any harder than being a mom as an adult. I think it might've actually been easier because I feel like I had more energy back then. But here is the thing. It's not just about being a mom, okay? It's about also getting a house, getting an income, and those were the hard parts. Do your kids know you had them young? And what is their reaction? This one, this is actually something that has recently happened um, because of my videos. And sometimes I've spoken in some of them or sometimes I'm on live and like, yeah, they've overheard me say I had a baby at 15. And my daughter initially overheard this and she was like, what? Like she, she was like, excuse me, mom? Like she was, and she's only seven years old. She was very shocked that I had a baby so young. And I was like, yes, mommy was very, very silly. Don't do what mommy did. My son also had a similar reaction. He's a lot older, he understands a lot more. And he was like, you're naughty, mum. That's just, that was just his reaction. You're naughty. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the Q&A. Leave more comments down below and I made another one soon. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.